Today I'm showing you all how to make a simple recipe for a basic homemade pasta dough. I'm not making the fanciest or the best or the most luxurious recipe, but it's easy and you probably already have all the ingredients in your house. So if the pasta aisle at your grocery store is empty, don't panic, have no fear, it's super easy to make at home. First things first, for God's sakes, wash your hands people and sanitize your work surface. Then you'll need two cups of flour, Dump the flour onto your clean work surface and create a little well in the center. Then crack in three eggs. Add in a tablespoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of salt. Then using a fork, whisk together the eggs and begin to slowly incorporate the flour from around the sides of the well. Continue bringing the flour into the center like this until the dough has pulled together enough to be worked by hand. From here, you'll want to bring the dough together to form a shaggy ball. If it's too dry, like mine was here, then you can just add a touch of water. And if it's too wet, then all you have to do is add in a little bit more flour. Once the dough has completely pulled together, you'll need to knead the dough for about 10 minutes. The dough will go from looking shaggy and rough to smooth and taut, and you'll know it's done when you push a finger into the dough and the dough springs back. Wrap up your dough in cling film and then let it rest for a minimum of 30 minutes. Once the dough has rested, cut it in half so that you have more manageable portions to work with. Lightly flour your work surface and start rolling out your pasta dough. From here, we're going to laminate the dough three times. So all that means is we're going to fold it in thirds like this, then roll it out, fold it in thirds again, then roll it out, and then repeat this process one more time. From there, we want to roll out our dough into a large rectangle. If you find your dough is shrinking back, leave it for a few minutes to let the gluten relax, then go back in. Once it's completely rolled out, we want it to be thin enough to see the color of our fingers through it. From here, you can cut the pasta dough into whatever shape you like, and today I'm just doing some long tagliatelle style pasta. To make this style of pasta that I'm making, just lightly flour the surface of the dough and fold it up into a rectangle. then gently slice it into strips. Once you've unraveled your pasta, toss it in a dusting of flour to stop it from sticking to itself. And then from here, you can portion it, wrap it and freeze it, or refrigerate it. If you're hungry like me, you can cook it straight away. Just remember that fresh pasta cooks quickly and will probably only need about two to three minutes in salted boiling water. I'm serving mine with my simple tomato sauce, which is super easy to make. I'll leave the link to that on the screen and also in the description box below. Then I just added in some arugula that we needed to use up and a little bit of old Parmesan that was just chilling in the fridge and then topped it off with some olive oil. There you go, no need to panic. If there isn't pasta at the store, it's super easy to make your own. It may be a little bit more time consuming, but let's be real, we all have more time on our hands than normal right now. So really, no excuse. I'll probably be posting pasta videos every day this week. So if you like this video and haven't already, consider subscribing and connect with me on Instagram at chefstudio underscore if you want to reach out to me there. 
Also, if you have any questions or want to hear my thoughts on literally anything at all, uh, leave them in the comment section below because I'm saving a little bit of pasta dough from every video and I'm going to do like a little chef studio chat slash answer questions slash talk nonsense while I'm learning to shape different kinds of pasta at the end of the week. So yeah, leave me your questions if you have any. Uh, until then, uh, yeah, keep safe kids. I will see you tomorrow.